Now I'm left with the sky. Don't put that in yet. The soil. Yes, we definitely know what colour that is. And the grass in the foreground. And there's some grass through the border in next door's garden. I paint the grass first in the foreground because it has to go in as it's a positive before the soil, which is the negative to that grass there. And I'm wanting a rather tired, well-mown green. So again, aureolin to start with. Not too, not too thick, let's take it pale and put it in almost as a wash. In fact, I have a bigger brush. I'll switch to the size eight. Speeds the job up. And now I'll take another green using the smaller brush. I'll use something that's left already on the plate. Plenty of greens about. And this one is nice. Goes well with the photograph. So just touching it in. And the paper is still wet. It's like painting on a wet shirt. Nice texture, part dry. Sometimes it's wet enough to actually push the pigment, the yellow pigment apart. I know the soil, I can see it here, is quite brown. But we're looking at it through grass and it looks a pinky brown. Do have a touch more yellow in that? Whilst I'm looking at the grass, I'll put in the yellow grass in the background. This is the grass that's behind the border in front of next door's fence. It's not a very wide patch and it's not the same colour as the grass here in the foreground. Not quite, it's a bit more faded. So using the same colour again and a little more water, which is aureole in yellow and a bit of green that's run into it. Let's go for it. Placing it behind the delphinium foliage. And time to be thinking about the soil. And we'll leave the sky until last. And I can see the soil is a sort of a mauvey brown. And again, let's go for the um, three primary colours. Yellow and pink. And in this case, ultramarine. A bit more pink, permanent rose. And the ultramarine will granulate a little. I'm just going to darken it more. So that it's quite a dark colour. Quite chocolatey. Remember as you're painting the negative, you are also delineating the positive. If there are little flecks of white, it will light up the picture. Those little flecks of white are stones in the border. Most, most soil's got bits of stuff in it. And I shall put in the ultramarine and the pink. Mindful to keep the mixing down to three, three colors. Maximum of three. If you were overload with the mixing, slipping another colour in here and a touch of something else there, then the painting will lose its brilliance, the paint will go dull, it will dry dull. That was a good move. So it's called adjusting the colour, pushing it in another direction by putting more of one or two of the ingredients.